नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू स्टार्टअप चैंपियंस आई एम शुभेंदु घोष इंक्रीजिंग पॉपुलेशन विद लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेज पुट्स अ लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर ऑन आर अर्बन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर विद मोर एंड मोर पीपल कमिंग इन टू टाउन इन सिटीज द चैलेंजेस आर गोइंग टू इंक्रीज एम्यूनिटीज लाइक ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर सैनिटेशन हाउसिंग विल नीड प्रायोरिटी अटेंशन well 21st century india is about smart cities and smart solutions today startups are creating innovations that is boosting ease of uh, living they are uh, revamping basic amenities in a manner that is people friendly cost effective and sustainable let me introduce you to the startups who are joining us uh, in the show we have with us uh, anjay mukherjee founder taral tech uh, solutions warm welcome let's keep the applause on Uh, for our startups we have with us uh, founder aditya tomar of sukriti social foundation warm welcome to you aditya and we have uh, co-founder rajesh ji representing snpc machines from sonipat warm welcome uh, to you warm welcome to our audience members we we'll, uh, look forward to the questions that you have to put uh, to our startups and let's now talk about the mentors two special mentors are joining us in the program allow me to introduce you to them there they are on the mentor wall first we have with us uh, dil nawaz khan angel investor founder co design labs and padak uh, dil nawaz brings over a decade of experience across design technology startup incubation industry he is also a subject matter expert on pitch tech startup fundraising and lean startups welcome uh, dil nawaz thanks very much for joining us a round of applause if you can have for our mentors and a second mentor here is uh, niveda uh, founder and ceo trashcon joining us from bengaluru trashcon is a globally awarded a uh, technology first organization helping governments private organizations across the world to dispose of waste in a responsible manner and let me inform you all both of them have been uh, jury members at the national startup awards as well warm welcome to both of you Let's also get a perspective from our mentor. Uh, Nivedha, uh, we just saw the story. Uh, your organization is doing incredible work, uh, meeting the challenge of uh, waste uh, management. If we look at the urban sector as a whole, uh, how do you see startups are all geared up uh, to tackle this challenge? I think uh, five years ago this was not the case, but today. Almost every biggest problem that we are facing, starting from waste to water uh, to every every single thing, air quality, all those things that was mentioned before, there are at least a handful of startups doing incredible work, and that gives us a lot of hope. And all of them are made in India, completely made in India, cost-effective, patented uh, technologies. So I think that's that's where it is. Uh, there is a lot of hope. I think uh, startups are. gone from just making money to also creating products that can create an impact at the same time in fact have a profitable business absolutely yeah. startups are doing transformative work and we'll meet some of them uh, as we move ahead in the show and that brings us uh, to talk about uh, the first startups who's joining us today uh, taral tech uh, solutions now we understand that access to drinking water is a major global uh, problem some 800 million people across the world do not have access to clean water add to that the burden of water borne diseases and the situation obviously becomes even more uh, challenging in the rural areas uh, that are dependent on uh, ground water supply which is often uh, contaminated now what taral tech has done is fascinating they've created a product a reactor that can be put inside of a hand pump and what you get is clean drinking water from that hand pump let's take a look at their fascinating journey under certain rural areas which is about 6 lakh 50000 villages depend on ground water for most of their needs but imagine the damage if same water is contaminated and is used for drinking anjan mukherjee innovator and entrepreneur from mumbai thought of solving this drinking water problem He developed Taral Tech reactor, which kills microbes in borewell hand pump water, and it can be easily retrofitted into a hand pump, such as the India Mark II models. There are 38 million uh, cases of waterborne diseases in uh, India, which results in uh, 1.5 million uh, kids below the age of five dying. These are staggering figures, and if you can really save that with a simple device, which costs in just uh, thousands. and uh, has a game changing effect on the health of uh, rural india i think that's uh, something which uh, we should be adopting anjan says taral tech reactor is a fit and forget technology there is no need for any maintenance or any consumables 
It does not need any fuel or electricity or any behavioral change in its usage. But like all startups, he too faced challenges in making villagers believe that this product works. When you show them this product and they think that you know it doesn't have anything, they are obviously skeptical uh, about uh, these things. But there are uh, forward-looking uh, visionaries every field and uh, they are there everywhere. They will uh, never shy away from trying it out because what is the cost to them? Actually, it is uh, only on the positives. It is there is no negative uh, to it, and uh, that's how people started. And once uh, they start and they see the results uh, firsthand, then the word of mouth takes over. They give you testimonials. They talk about it. Many villages in states including Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, and Orissa have fitted the reactor in their hand pumps and are using it. Millions of people have already been touched as their health have improved. Taraltech has not just been recognized by villagers but also at many national and international levels. Taraltech Solutions was one of the startups that participated in the joint Indo-Israeli innovation exhibition at Tel Aviv, Israel in July 2017. Anjan explained the working of the reactor to prime ministers of India and Israel, Narendra Modi and Benjamin Netanyahu. Now uh, we thought that uh, we should be slowly getting ready for our next product, uh, which would be for uh, the pipeline version, as well as for the submersible pumps and things like that. So we thought we should uh, brand it in such a way that you know we can demark, uh, we can differentiate the products. So we've uh, uh, named the product uh, the, for the borewell hand pump as uh, Taraltech Maji. We found out uh, that. Uh, Maji in uh, Swahili and uh, Afrikaans actually means water and uh, we were so thrilled that uh, you know that uh, we can name our uh, reactor Taraltech Maji so we quickly went and uh, uh, tried to trademark it and uh, we have not got it yet but uh, up till now at least there have been no objections and uh, we hope to get it. Taraltech Solutions is a significant breakthrough in the eradication and elimination of waterborne diseases and a game changer technology for the future. Worldwide water is a stressed asset, but waterborne diseases play a significant role of all illnesses globally. Taraltech Solutions plays an important role in making a quantum difference by drastically improving the quality of groundwater that is consumed by removing the microbes. A transformative uh, story of Taral Tech uh, Solutions. A round of applause if you can have for uh, Anjan Mukherjee, founder, is with us. Uh, Anjan, really uh, good to learn about uh, the product. Uh, this reactor, it's, it's quite magical, it doesn't require any energy. You fit it and forget about it. Tell us a little about it. Are you carrying it uh, uh, for us here? Can we take a look? Yeah, so this is how it looks. So all you need to do is, uh, firstly let me correct you, sure. it requires hand power, without energy you cannot get uh, anything. Right, but not the conventional. Not the conventional, no electricity, no any of the uh, other things. So all we have to do is uh, open seven bolts uh, from the top of the borewell hand pump and uh, just slide it into the riser pipe. Yes, please uh, go on. Uh, Slide it into the, mm, on top of the riser pipe through which the water comes. So when the water is coming out of the riser pipe with your normal uh, hand power, it uh, we make uh, inside our reactor, we shoot millions of jets of water which uh, by a simple physics principle called Bernoulli's, it creates uh, voids, it is actually called uh, cavitation bubbles and uh, once the pressure recovers, it collapses and uh, lacerates uh, the microorganism. So that is uh, what we have done and uh, that is uh, what uh, our uh, invention is. What is actually uh, I would say fell into my lap is uh, no one had tried it with hand power yet mm. and we are the first in the world to really do it with the hand power for something which is of uh, scale as uh, what we have really achieved. It is very compact and uh, light Anjan Chiyal. Uh, Okay, but you sir, how long did it take you to make this product, this reactor, from the scratch to this form? Uh, actually, uh, all these type of, uh, I would say, inventions or innovations or whatever you call it, it all these things happen in a flash. Mm -hmm. It really, it does not take much time. What takes time is to really make it compact, really make it uh, into a usable, manufacturable uh, 
thing. Those things uh, really take some time. But I've been uh, very lucky. I've always uh, worked with my hands, and uh, so engineering of these things uh, came very naturally to me, and uh, I understood the science of it. Uh, so, like in any uh, technology of this thing, the challenge is really not taking science to the technology to uh, that much because that is dependent on you. Okay. The challenge is technology to the product and product to the business. Okay, right. Uh, let's connect uh, with our uh, mentor and get a perspective. Let's connect with Niveda uh, and get a perspective on uh, Thoral Tech uh, solutions. Uh, so, Niveda, uh, there is a close connection between uh, waste management and clean water as well. In that context, how do you see uh, the journey and the impact of Thoral Tech solutions and the product that they've made? So I think it is the need of the art for uh, Indian scenario at least because uh, what we have seen is in most of the most remotest villages and towns there is no uh, availability of free energy as we see and uh, the, the issue Teratech is trying to solve is something that is going to the roots of our society which includes that uh, if it is not there people may even fall sick uh, you know there are a lot of lot of villages that have fallen sick because of contaminated water and uh, Terrell Tech has already shown it at scale, uh, is what we saw during the entire review uh, presentation. But uh, if, if it can reach to nook and corner of India, I think uh, clean water will definitely be a reality. So yes, definitely a huge thing. And I think the design parameters, the design criteria that they have taken to make it compact, to make it light, to make it low energy, I think these are the things that has to go in any innovation. Like he rightly said, coming up with innovation is not a difficult thing. Coming up with an idea is not a difficult thing, mm -hmm. but implementing it is the most uh, difficult thing. Yeah, so kudos to Paraltech on that. That Absolutely. is what we all were feeling as well. Yeah. Right. Uh, Nivera, uh, stay with us. Uh, uh, so Anjan, implementation is the key challenge. In that context, help us understand the, the business model uh, that your startup follows. What is the means of, uh, for you to earn revenue uh, through this product? We saw the use can be across the country, every nook and corner. So tell us about that, the business model and revenue. Yeah, up till now what we have done is uh, initially it was the high net worth individuals uh, who actually sponsored us and we, they said, let's go and fit it wherever you want to fit it. Hmm. And that's how we started and the word of mouth started happening. Then uh, the corporate CSRs uh, came in and uh, they started uh, buying it and uh, fitting it in various villages where again the word of mouth uh, started playing a role the foundations uh, have uh, this thing and because of all this uh, the government got into the act and uh, though they have not uh, taken it directly hmm. but uh, they have uh, started studying the impact on the ground and uh, what exactly is happening and uh, I'm very confident that uh, in the next uh, month or two governments uh, will start taking because uh, all the results which has happened all the testimonials which we have got and all the lab results which are there, field results which are there, they are all extremely positive. They are uh, showing uh, direct impact on the uh, health of the people in various villages where previously the waterborne diseases were rampant. That's almost come down to nil. So they are giving us uh, testimonials. So things are happening at mm. its own pace and uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, if something works, it works. Right. I know that. A business model aspect. Let's get a perspective from a mentor as well. If we can have uh, Dil Nawaz uh, on the mentor ball. Uh, Dil Nawaz, uh, it's a truly disruptive technology uh, presented by Teral Tech uh, Solutions. Uh, what is your perspective, your advice on how the business could grow bigger, more investment could come in? How, they sh how should they go about it? Right. So, there are a couple of points I want to, uh, you know, quickly pick up here. So, for example, number one, of course, the problem they're trying to solve is a very important problem and an uh, Indian problem per se, right? Other than the generic tech startup who are trying to solve uh, a non-Indianized problem, this is a problem on ground. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when you solve a problem specific to a country and you're solving a, a hardware problem or you're building a product uh, more like a hardware which is solving a problem, the thing is there's no recurring revenue so i think my only advice can be or or i think uh, what the what the founders need to think about that how can they build a recurring revenue model around it so they can so that they can scale it up because uh, when you start selling hardware you uh, there's a limitation up to which you can uh, sell hardware and there's a linear curve and i'm sure uh, you know uh, because i don't know the nitty gritties of the business 
uh, uh, there, but I'm sure uh, they would be refilling or uh, the, the, they'll be changing the product after a certain point in terms of lifetime of the product. So I'm sure there will be a couple of things which will enable them to build a, a recurring model around the product. But if they can, you know, uh, maybe integrate an app or some sort of another recurring thing, make it a little more techy. I think that will help them in creating a scalable business model. Well, they say water is life. Let's also see the transformative impact of Taral Tech uh, Solutions and the lives of villagers who benefited from this technology. Let's take a look. Village in Junnar, where we had fitted it. Initially, we had fitted two, uh, and then of course the village themselves asked that we should fit. They had some seven or eight more. They asked us to fit it in the other seven or eight uh, hand pumps. So when we went back, the people who had fitted it, you know, the two uh, hand pumps where it had gotten fitted, um, you know, they came to us very angry and we were like, oh, what happened? And they said that, uh, you know, earlier we used to wait half an hour. If you go, you know what they do, they get those big steel hundas and they make a queue. So till their turn comes. So they said we used to wait half an hour. But after you guys went off, the entire village figured that this water is better by experience. Not because, you know, somebody is telling them or advertising or anything. Very soon they experienced that the water quality is better. So everybody started coming and queuing up. And instead of half an hour, it started taking two or three hours before their turn came. So they, they got angry with us. So we were actually very relieved to hear that without explaining it, people came to know the benefit of this water. Easy to use the technology, I think, one of the key highlights uh, of your product. Anjan, at this point, let's also get some questions from the audience members. My name is Ankita, and my question to you all is, when we are juggling on with the issue of poverty and education in our country, how are you going to create awareness amongst all the villagers for the implementation of the same? Uh, water is very basic. Without water, you cannot live. And uh, it is more than creating awareness. It is the moment they see it and uh, they start uh, experiencing uh, safe, uh, clean water for drinking. It's a life-changing thing. Even before education or anything, you have to live. So it is happening by word of mouth. It's happening and the government, like I said, is uh, coming in in a big way. So it's it will happen. I mean, it's like air. It's like water. I mean, if you say, you know, you can do away with uh, clean air. Uh, I mean, that's not on. I mean, Absolutely. The same you go way. to the basic necessity. Uh, Anjan, uh, what are your plans to diversify it? I mean, we're looking at the model which works with hand pumps, but we all need clean drinking water, and we know it's an established uh, industry. There are expensive products in the market. Uh, yours seem very compact. So, how can you possibly diversify into, uh, uh, into, into, into other areas to make clean water accessible to everyone? Uh, in fact, uh, I will take this opportunity to. Uh, counter what uh, our mentor uh, told me about. Uh, what he is saying is, you know, I need to put an app into the product or whatever. Hmm. Uh, my counter to that is, this is meant for absolutely the underprivileged in underserved areas where they can really afford none of it. There is no electricity, there is no nothing. So they, uh, and uh, there is no behavioral change in uh, this which is required. So this is my first product which is for the underprivileged and, uh, uh, like I said, uh, in remote areas. And uh, I intend to keep it like this, keep it very basic, so that they at least get safe water. My next product will be for the pipeline version, for the people who are, uh, uh, you know, they can afford it. So in those things, I will, whatever he has said, I will uh, actually incorporate. This is more, you can say, for brand building that, mm. uh, you know, this is something which is very, very close to my heart. And that's why I've chosen this as the first uh, product where uh, it can really have an impact on the people who really need it. The other uh, pipe water people already have solutions. I may be far cheaper or whatever, but uh, they cannot get into the space I'm already in, in this and built my brand. It's the close of this edition of Startup Champions. Let's quickly get some words of wisdom uh, from all our startup founders. I'll begin with you, uh, Anjan sir. Uh, one, one thought, one vision, one idea that kept you going all these years while you were working on this product. Uh, what is that spirit that kept it all alive? It can really do. Uh, that is uh, something which uh, is uh, really kept us uh, going because uh, 
as you know the problem is humongous in india alone is 30 to 40 crore people that is 300 to 400 million people worldwide i believe it is uh, 2 to 3 billion which don't have access to safe water which we can uh, with our innovation we can uh, really do something about so big thank you to the startups who joined us in the program today round of applause if you can have for them uh, your journey will continue to inspire us and uh, that brings us to the close of this edition of Startup Champions. But this journey, as I always say, will continue. You can connect with us. Tell us about how you're liking the program. If you want to write to any of the startups, you can uh, send us an email on startup.india at gov.in. As I say, this journey of inspiration, this journey of motivation, this journey of startups will continue till we meet again. Namaskar.